We are at National Day in Oslo, Norway. Uh, it's Slottsparken. 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 Yeah. Uh, at the Royal Palace. And it's National Day, which is first off, let's congratulate everyone for their National Day. Yeah. Uh, which is, let me try to say how it. Uh, damn it! I forgot it. I practiced it so hard. Uh, oh, grat lura. Gratulere. Me dage. Yeah, got it. Very good. I'm never learning Norwegian, but uh, I'll learn a few words. Start with because, that. <coughs> I learn a few words because they love it when other people talk in Norwegian. Right. Yeah. So we're here for National Day. National Day is it's kind of like Fourth of July to them. Um, it is a constitutional <clears throat> day. Our constitution was written on May 17th in 1814. Uh, so yeah, that's what yeah. we're celebrating. And actually, fun fact, I'm descending from one of uh, the men that wrote the constitution. Right. Not How one about of the, that? <clears throat> not one of the women. No. No women wrote the constitution. Only men. Now, but but to, now women make you know, all the laws. Take what you can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they have a parade here every year. It's a children's parade. All the schools from all, all of Norway or all of Oslo? This is all of Oslo. So there's 123 schools and they're all walking in the parade. And they come to the Royal Palace, which is back there. I'll, I'll do a little uh, flip onto it. Let's go back. And they all go up to the palace, the royal family is sitting all the way up there. And uh, and yeah, let's let's take a walk. Yeah. Uh, this is Walk with Sadek, season two, episode one. We're going to This is my friend Christina Goldbranson. Uh, we've known each other for four years now. Four and a half, uh, I believe. Three we, and a half. we know each other from like when uh, Hillary and Bernie were running. Yeah. And I met her randomly. And then uh, we, we realized... <clears throat> we realized that uh, uh, we both like Bernie and we both thought it was crazy that Americans were going to pick Hillary. And that's how we kind of bonded. Yeah. Um, we're not going to do any Hillary hate right now or Bernie love. It's just the backstory of what happened. Yes. The funny thing was that, like, the society that Bernie is presenting and what he's wanting, we are living that here in Norway. So that was an obvious, like, every right. time I met someone who voted differently than Bernie, I was like, how can you, like, just look around? Right, it's because right it's, they have capitalism here, guys, right. and s socialism. It's called democratic socialism. That's where you get best of both worlds you get social services like healthcare, uh, so you don't have to worry about the basic necessities if you get sick um, but you can also have capitalism like I don't it's not like all the stores are the same and it's not all state run right uh, there's different markets I mean there's some things that are state run like alcohol places right yeah uh, but so the what? But that's like, yeah. There's some things that, are, but even the railway is like, it's it's way better than Amtrak. Uh, so I I don't see the problem in it, but you know it's 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 something we want to bring back to America. It's a harder thing to do though back there than it is here. Right. So the thing is that socialism <clears throat> is not a bad word, which I get the impression here. of that it's a, it's a bad word in America, I think. Because I remember the first time I was in the US, I was in Las Vegas and I was talking to some people and I t told them that I was from Norway and their first reaction was, that's a socialist country, right? And they said it like it was a bad thing. I was like, hmm, what do you mean by that? And they didn't know anything about it. Right. They've just been educated that They've been brainwashed. Bad, yeah, exactly. It's a bad not thing. Not educated. And, educated is but, yeah, like positive they've connotation. That. They've, been they've, been, that. they've been indoctrinated right. <laughs> by the media and the corporations that own all of them that that's, that's the case. Exactly. Right. But, you know, um, by the way, get, can we get your handle, please? Yeah. You can find her on Christina on Instagram at? Uh, Christina Eveboe. Spell it. Uh, K R Y S T Y N E E B E B O E. 
underscore. And then an underscore, correct. So, uh, you're going, you said you're going back to school soon? Yeah. You just applied to two schools? I've applied to many different schools. I've applied to uh, IT related uh, topics like computer engineering and programming and app development. But I also applied to screenwriting. Uh, and I recently got accepted into the one of the screenwriting bachelors. Congrats. Didn't you get... You got you, you applied to two though school yeah, and both of, those, of them up both of them yeah right so both uh, of them accepted I her have a, yeah I have a talent for it but uh, it, it's a weird thing because <clears throat> I always thought that I was gonna do something in science I was gonna be a biologist or astrophysicist and computer engineering was like my latest target that I kind of like the last year and a half that has been my goal but then all of a sudden like yeah screenwriting. Well, so it's strange. Congratulations. Thank you. So what are you going to be paying for school? Uh, well, the funny thing is that it's a, it's a private school. Okay, so it is a private school. Oh, yeah. wow. You guys have private schools here? <laughs> yeah, wow. Do, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. But, but, if but I when, you, went when, to... when you went to undergrad, well, how much was it? Uh, what's undergrad? Undergrad is when you go to regular college. Uh, okay, so when you study for like university yeah. and a bachelor's degree? Yeah. Right, that would uh, be free. Okay. Here. Yeah. But since I'm going private, it's like so about 52,000 Norwegian kroners and divide that with eight. 52,000. I'm American, I'm bad semester. at math. Uh, I'm Pakistani and I'm supposed to be good at math. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you're looking at, I mean, 52,000. Let's 52, see, it's uh, 6,000 per semester. semester. Yeah. yeah, okay. 6,000 per semester. Well, yeah. it's not divided by eight, I think it's by seven. Right. So you're looking at <clears throat> about seven. eight to nine hundred dollars per semester which is not entirely bad but it's a private school so yeah. that makes sense and things are actually very expensive here in the first place it is. Um, but you also get your basics everyone's happy today yeah which today is not normal is the happiest day of the year and yeah uh, tomorrow yeah. they go back to look at like this is this is the region okay bands coming up yeah we're going down to the parade again. Now we can hear some songs. And here we come to the parade again. Let's take a... Um, let's go like this. So they're all coming down the street from here. So every single school kid is Basically, yeah. walking through here. Yeah. Um, but typically only the kids from... First grade up until seven. seventh grade. After seventh grade it's uh, voluntarily. So you can choose. It's not really cool anymore if you're over the age of 13. I get that. Uh, one in interesting fact about you uh, that I really need to clarify. You said you like soundtracks as your favorite music yep. genre. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Really? Yeah, who says that? I, I mean, I know I people never like heard soundtrack it either. I'm the first music. So what's your favorite soundtrack? Oh, uh, Spirits. Spirits? Say, That's yeah. a movie? What is that? What, what uh, is it's that? a horse animated movie. A horse. The, the music is by Hans Zimmer. He's my absolute hero. Okay. So he has made the music to The Lion King and Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Interstellar, Inception. It's just amazing. And uh, yeah, I've been to his concert several times. I just fall in every time. It's so beautiful. And of course, this. Many people also think that Norway is the capital of Sweden. I've heard that. So. 
several times. Really? Huh. What time does this? You say people? Do you think it's people or do you think it's American? Uh, mostly Americans. But I've heard it elsewhere as well. Yeah, but yeah. mostly Americans. Yeah. That's because we're also a very big country, so we don't know anything beyond our own border. You don't travel we don't as care. Much. No, but, and, but it's also hard. The they don't even. Go ahead. Uh, like in school, I had the impression that in school you don't learn much about like the world history no. and geography outside of We don't learn much about U.S. history. Oh. I mean, we think, you know, okay. I have no idea. I, I dropped out of college. It took me five and a half years to go through high school. <laughs> so don't ask me. Yeah, Norway is right next to Sweden, and uh, so it's it's basically Norway. Then to the east of it is Sweden, and then to the east of northeast of that is Finland, and, and to the south Russia. of that is yeah, so in Russia, and then the south of that is uh, Denmark, right above uh, Amsterdam. So that's where uh, Scandinavia is. That's where I am right now. It's actually one of my favorite places to be. I'm actually considering eventually getting a home here. I'm just saying it out loud right now. I don't know if that's going to be true or not. You right? Should get an apartment. Yeah, I should. Can I get an interview with you really quick? No, you got to rock. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm concerned. I guess they're on board. Yeah. Uh, they need more immigration. <laughs> not. Uh, yeah, so one of the cool, one of the interesting things that I was just thinking about recently, it's a hot topic in both Norway and uh, America right now is uh, abortion. Mm, yeah. So you were really heated about that the other day when we were talking. Um, now, by the way, this is a woman. Um, I'm only going to ask her questions. I know I look like a man and all of this stuff, but I'm asking opinions here so we can get uh, an opinion from someone from a liberal, very, very liberal country in which women are practically equal, if not uh, uh, more prevalent in society in terms of equality, right? I mean, yeah. you guys pretty much run the show here a, a lot of times. Uh, but the the prime minister is a woman. Her yeah. name is uh, Ed, Edna. Anna Surbe. Edna Surbe. Yeah. Uh, so and most of the leaders of the political parties are women here as well. Right. Like our financial minister, our secretary of defense, she's a woman. So let's go to abortions. Like, what's right. going on with that here? What happened? Okay, so um, the political parties, we have different <clears throat> political parties in Norway. And uh, we have like eight or nine different that we can vote for. Uh, so right now, the government is uh, three uh, different parties. Uh, they're the most right wing parties. Uh, our prime minister is from the second most right wing party. She wants more power, <clears throat> uh, and there's a fourth party. They are a Christian party. They base all of their politics on the Bible, really, or the, the or Christian morals. Uh, she wanted them into their government to gain more power. Uh, they said, if you change uh, the abortion law we can get into government with you. Now what they wanted to change was two things. Uh, so now you can have an abortion after week 12 if the child, if there's a risk that the child is uh, having a serious condition. Uh, it could be really anything. If there's a danger for the life or there's a a risk that the child has a, um, a condition that will make them multi-handicapped. Uh, that is the paragraph, is the abortion law paragraph 2C. That's what that says. Uh, and this party wanted to remove that. Uh, the second thing was that they wanted to also remove the ability to have um, so you can abort, if you're pregnant with twins, you can uh, remove one of the fetuses, even though it's healthy. Uh, that's risky for the remaining fetus, but it's still possible. Right. Now, the, this caused a huge 
disturbance. Right, and there was protests. Yeah, and... there was huge protests. Uh, so the first, uh, like removing the paragraph 2C, did not, they didn't manage to do so. Right, but there was uh, so a. So that's very nice. But that, but that whole thing was going on here. What I, I wrote a post yesterday. Yeah. Uh, about the abortion ban in Alabama. Right. And the governor. So the bill was passed by a bunch of white men. Yeah. But uh, the the bill was uh, uh, confirmed by the governor, who's a by the way, who's you a woman. Film this. This is our graduation students. They all wear the red pants. And we'll talk about them in a second as well. Yeah, um, to show it. yeah, 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 good. We're going to have to actually come back to what they do here when they right. graduate. Yeah. Uh, so but, but basically I was saying that it's actually a re religious issue and it's not a man-woman issue because both men and women in America, uh, about 47% of men are pro-choice, 48% of women are pro-choice. Right. So I said it was more a religious issue. Yeah. Because it's religion that, like, if you look at the religious statistics, anyone that's atheist or agnostic, they're 77% pro-choice. Right. If they don't go to the church at all, they're about 62% pro-choice. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to uh, 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 your church, your mosque, on a weekly basis, you are 20% likely to be pro-choice. So, uh, you know, a lot of women and men both, they agreed with me on this, but... There was a few that got really mad at me and they're like, this is all about men and men like you. And, and I'm like, what, what are you talking about? This is like, this is a fact. I'm not even, we're not discussing men in general. I know men in general are assholes. That's not a debate. But I'm debating that this specific issue is a religious issue because the, the person that signed and signed off on the law in Alabama, the governor, is a woman. Her name is Kay Ivey. Yeah. She's a woman. Right. And the same thing here, it's a woman yeah. trying to get more power and they're using religion yeah. in order to get power. Yeah. Uh, and I want to make that clear to it because it's, it's happening not only with that, but you know, I'm, I'm not a, I'm a, I'm against the Catholic Church. Yeah. I mean, you can believe in God, you can believe in anything you want, but like, when you support these things, I'm against it. Yeah. You know, if my if Islam, if there's people, and not just Islam, I'm talking about specific denominations in Islam, yeah. like Wahhabism, like the Saudis, if they're doing horrible things to women or anyone, they should, they, we should denounce them. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Here's another band coming up. Let's take a. I would say it's a celebration, bitches. Anyway, I want to point that out because it's it's an issue that's going on everywhere from yeah. America to Poland. Uh, Poland had this issue recently too, and it's all about religious authorities trying to impose their beliefs yeah. on the rest of us. And that's been going on forever. It's so the National Guard. The National Guard. Go back to the red pants. Uh, yeah. When you're graduating, what did they? What did you tell me the other day? They do uh, for so the for like several called, weeks. Uh, yeah, from uh, May first up until today, May seventeenth. All the people, all party. the kids that are graduating, they're like yeah. eighteen and nineteen. So high school is uh, three years. You have ten years of uh, like basic school, uh, and then you have three schools, so three years of high school. Right. And at the end of those three years, you're graduating. So you pull on the red pants and you become a Rus. A what? A Rus. A Rus. What does that mean? That's the, that's the name of them. Okay. And so anyway, they are quite promiscuous. I wish I had that in high school. All we had was the prom. <laughs> These kids are all getting laid, getting wasted. Like, lucky you. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, I want to get laid. And I'm for abortion. <laughs> I'm not for abortion. I guess I'm pro-choice. But um, I also think people should get tested and people should always carry around condoms. I'm actually planning on getting a vasectomy uh, in the next couple of years because I don't want kids at all. Uh, okay, well, you know, once again, we're uh, with Walk with Sadek in Oslo, Norway. I'm with Christina Galbrensen. Galbrens I'm always going to mess up her name. Her name is spelled... Say it again. Gulbransson. Gulbransson. Yeah. Her her name is spelled Christine, K R I S T I N E, but it's pronounced Christina. You say it right. Say it again. Christina. Christina. So and there's a lot of people that are named like that. There's like Ann, A N N E is like Anna, and it's weird because the A it's just ugh, it's so confusing. Um, and I'm trying to say it properly because my name is Sadek, but my name is like the most easiest one here. I tell people my name here, they'll get it right by the second time. I thought and, it was uh, Sadiq. Right. The first time. But you never heard me say the name, right? Or, oh yeah, you did hear me say it. I don't know. Well, typically people get it here. Maybe it's just you. I s pronounced it the way I read it. Like, no, Sadiq. Well, one cool thing about Christina and I, uh, and again, I'm saying Christina. Christina. You can say Christine. Christine. I'm going to say it like a billion different ways. It's going to have a whole compilation at your wedding of me saying, uh, saying your name a million different ways. It's fine. Um, one interesting thing about us is like we're really, really good friends. She's actually come to visit me in New York before and um, I come, uh, this is my fourth time in Oslo and she, uh, she's an introvert, a huge introvert. I'm a huge extrovert. <clears throat> and I actually, in some weird ways, I've realized I, I'm, I gravitate towards introverts more. Yeah. Um, uh, especially just in dating too recently, I've realized this, that it's probably because introverts stay at home and read books. And extroverts right. probably don't. Yeah. And um, I love being wild with extroverts, but I really connect on an intellectual level with introverts. Yeah. And I guess they're all handing out little coupons and stuff to the kids. It's the red pants that we're talking about. Handing out. What are they uh, handing out? It's a card. It's What's like that? personalized cards. It's like a business oh. card. So all the kids are getting like person like personalized cards. Yeah, look at that. He's got no ton. <laughs> Interesting. I should be giving out my cards then. I have my personalized cards no, with no me. No kids want that. Why? Because How do you know not, that? Because it's not a Ristokort. <laughs> they, they don't know that. How do they know that? They're they kids. Know that. I, I'm gonna try it. Stop. Right. Stop. Right. Stop holding me back. Right. I want to be famous in Norway. <laughs> Hand it to and I gotta, the I, I gotta give it to the kids because they're the ones who are gonna, when I'm like, when I'm at the peak of my performance skills, they're gonna be at the age to pay to come watch me. Yeah. And you think they will keep your card? No, but they'll like keep my memory. Ten years time? They'll keep my memory. Right. Like that brown guy with the big ass ski glasses <laughs> or welding mask. Yeah. Uh, Warren had, uh, gave us a card that one day. I think he, he. I think he has. Uh, what did you say? They think that I look like I have epileptic seizures. Yeah, I'm sure they do. So introverted, extroverted. Yeah. What do you do? You, do you have any thoughts on the topic? What do you feel like being an introvert? Well, because I've done research on this. Do you, do you know the difference between introvertedness and extrovertedness? So my, what I think about it is like, as an introvert, I have, I gain energy from being alone. And an extrovert gains energy by being with other people. That's kind of. <laughs> Did I get it? Get it on video? Oh, I need views on YouTube. Can I can I get an interview with you? Sure. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Kathy. Kathy. I'm. That's a totally I'm, not Norwegian name. Obviously not. So from you're Norway. not Norwegian. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Oakland, California. Whoa, Oakland, California. What's <laughs> up, son? <laughs> Where are you uh, from? That's cool. I'm from Chicago, but I live in New York. Ah, nice. I lived in Chicago. What part? Many years ago. 
Oak, uh, Irving Park in Southport. Okay, I live just north of it in uh, Edgewater Rogers Park area okay, near nice. Loyola. Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin originally. Oh, cool. Okay, this is getting uh, weirder and weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. I, I'm actually doing my show called Walk with Savik. Oh. Uh, I go to different cities and I, I have different guests on the show and I'm a stand-up comedian. That's what nice. I do. Um, but I have a, we were doing a taping on a few things, some, some topics. A hot button topic, let me know if we can discuss this or not. Um, abortion is a big thing right now. Uh, yeah, I got so angry yesterday that I needed to lay down on the couch in the office for a while. It actually kind of ruined my day. You, you sedated your own self. I had to literally yeah. take a moment. So I actually wrote a post about this the other day. I, I was kind of angry that we're attacking men on this because it, to me it's not a men issue. It's a religious issue, specifically to this. Because uh, the, the governor who passed the bill... She's a woman, um, and the same issues are happening here. There was a whole fight about abortions here. Is there? Yeah, and the conservative party wanted to uh, restrict uh, certain require certain things on abortion here, and the prime minister is also a woman, mm -hmm. and it was the religious party. Mm -hmm. So, what are your thoughts on some of the what, what What do you know about this issue? Like, how does this affect you? Um, like, have you done much research on Alabama's laws and, and the bills? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. fully aware of all of the cluster fuckery that is happening there right now. Right. I mean, it's not just a women's issue, it's a socioeconomic issue, right, of course. it's an issue, it's a racial issue, it's a Because it affects black women and, and Latin women a lot. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's a mechanism for <laughs> people, not just men, obviously, but to legislate control over women and particularly socioeconomically disadvantaged uh, minority women right. to keep them oppressed. Um, the ability to have uh, autonomy over your own body is um, affects everyone. Right. Everybody should be concerned about it. Um, these laws have widespread um, legislative implications. Obviously, we've right? Seen they're going to try to they're going to try to take it up to the Supreme Court, probably. Yeah, and other states have and, really quickly followed suit. Right. It's something that um, conservative and r the religious right has been poised to take advantage of for a long time. Um, and it's going to require everybody to be, you know, vigorously involved and opposed to. I, in particular, am ready to set some cars on fire, riot in the streets. Like everybody needs to be concerned about this. It affects. Just not my car. No, I don't sure. have a car, by the way. <laughs> but like, just not my, just not my uh, metaphorical car. Sure, but everybody needs to be really, really concerned about yeah. this because it's not just about Alabama. It's not just about the religious right. It's about. Um, and it's about the whole world. People in, in the whole world, yeah. not just America. And we lead. Like a lot of times, people look at us as leaders, which is kind of weird because we're a shit show right now. Um, but we should be leading. We used to lead. You yeah, know, we exactly. used to go to the moon, and now we're going to the womb. Right? Yeah, it's not just a women's issue; it's a human rights issue, and everybody needs to be very um, concerned about that. Right, and this is a statistic I looked up. The Gallup uh, did a poll last year um, about uh, pro-choice versus pro-life. Who was for it? Who was against it? I looked it up. People who attend. Um, Weekly church services or weekly religious services are 20% pro-choice. Uh, monthly are 40% pro-choice. If they don't go at all, they're 62%. And if you're an atheist or agnostic or irreligious, you're 77% pro-choice. Mm, interesting. So I just wanted, I wanted to kind of have women who can have an opinion on this. Because, I mean, to me, you know, I wear a condom. Uh, I carry condoms with me all the time. Um, well, women's you know. access to abortion directly affects men as well because so, condoms aren't a fail-safe method. No, they're and not. if a woman they're does not. not have access to terminate right. a pregnancy, then that's going to fuck your life up as right. well. Right, right. And, and th that's my point is that I'm trying to take my part on it as well, but ultimately I can't prevent the condom from anything happening. In the end, you're going you're gonna to end up having the semen inside of you not the opposite way around right not you specifically interesting. but but you understand what i'm saying like i can do i can do as much as i can besides getting a vasectomy well yeah but then actually right? women's access to safe and legal abortions has an effect on men as well right 
right, a I direct agree with you. and I agree. very serious effect I on totally men agree. as well. So everybody should be concerned about this issue. Uh, Kathy, thank you so much for taking your time out. Um, I'm going to give you my business card too so you can look me up. Uh, this video is going to be online. Great. Uh, thank one. you. Thank you so much. Can yeah, I give you a hug? Nice to meet you. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Good meeting you. Thank you for asking. Oh, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. <laughs> yeah. Consent, say? man. Consent. That's what we're say? trying to practice that. What do we say? Oh, uh, gratu, gratu, lero, lero, me, bye. Which means, of course, it means a happy National Day. Congratulations to you, and a happy New Year. Yeah, happy birthday. Yes. Love you. No, so, love you. <laughs> <laughs> love you. I want to make out with you. Love you, and I want you to kiss me on my tummy. So, we <laughs> let's go back to introverted extrovertedness. Right. Uh, so you were talking about how you get your energy when you're. When you have time and space to yourself, yeah. whereas uh, someone that's an extrovert gets energy being out with other people. Yeah. So I've I've heard that too, and that's like the typical um, uh, definition of introvertedness, extrovertedness. Yeah. But I did some more research on it, and the introvertedness, another part of an introvert, is the way that they think. So okay. introverts actually have another processor in their brain in which information travels through and they think about that information and then they release that information that's why it takes time for an introvert to get comfortable in an environment because they're just not saying everything that's coming to their head even though they're thinking it whereas me growing up i said everything like whatever came out and like people were like why are you saying that i'm like i don't know and it's because it's an extrovert in this thing i don't have a filter yeah I can totally relate to that because I, I'm not good in like arguments and like conflict and stuff like that. If I have to think about stuff, I have to know what I'm talking about before I can present an argument. Right. Whereas I'm just I, like, I I'm right. Just, like, I'm right. With I'm, like right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Yeah. Which is a great trait. You know, but then when I, <laughs> it is actually. It got, got me this far in life. <laughs> it got me this far in life. <laughs> You're talking with an uh, <clears throat> But like, I, once I learned that, and I learned to learn, because I, I had an issue with just saying whatever I wanted to say, and what happens with that is, is that I'm not actually persuading people, which is what I'm trying to do, is persuade them on my arguments and what I'm trying to communicate. Right. And um, I wasn't researching enough, and I wasn't communicating well, so... Once I learned that, it actually helped me a lot that yeah. introverts have a pre-processor. And in, in, for an extrovert to have that ability, what we need to do is, before we're about to say something, to let, like, create our own filters yeah. in our brains, yeah. which is very difficult to do. It takes a very long time. Yeah. It takes reading a lot of information. And then that's how I started learning. I'm really into a lot of introverts because... I read. A, I started reading a lot, and that's like an introverted, and this is anecdotal, uh, introverted trait to me. Um, that they they're just at home because they're at home. They're always they need something to do. So you're always reading or watching something or doing learning something and keeping yourself active with other things. Whereas extroverts are out with other people, and it's not necessarily like we're more about like leading and like I'm able to lead people and. and uh, things along those lines. Yeah. I, don't, <clears throat> I don't need to be social to like stimulate my brain. And, right. Yeah, learn stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I'm. Um, I am actually. Uh, and then there's a third one, which is an ambivert, which is actually most people. Um, I've heard that yeah, ambivert is someone that's introverted and extroverted. So there's a whole spectrum. You're not just introverted and just extroverted. Because so, I would say that I'm an outgoing introvert. Do, do I qualify so you're, you're, for an ambivert? You're a sociable introvert. Yeah. You're sociable. I don't mind but, being like this. I don't mind you yeah. know, talking to a bunch of people, getting to know people. Right, and hanging out at a party. But I would rather be home right. by myself. Right, right. So you're... You're a sociable introvert. Yeah. Um, I would actually like to get um, an interview with someone with red pants. Yeah. While we can. Hello. <laughs>
Hi, um, I'm actually doing a web series. You think I can interview for a second? Uh, Mainly because yeah. one of you? Yeah, Because okay, you're wearing sure. red pants and I, I'm from uh, New York. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm here. This is my first national day. I've been here four times. Oslo is like a second home to me. Okay. Um, but you guys just graduated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's our graduation. So what, what does that mean? Uh, like the red suits. Yeah, red. Yeah, we're wearing the red. red so they're wearing the red yeah, uh, pants, and then they're handing out these cards. They're like business. Co Can you show me one of these cards? Uh, card. So like, uh, they're handing out these cards. Why do you do that? It's basically for the kids. They collect like big, huge. Um, uh, so they're like personal cards. And you just so write you your like name and your school. Yeah. And it's just like random stuff you write. Do they build like? Do they build like? Arts and crafts with it at home when they collect all of no, those. No, it's just yeah, like they just Pokemon collect cards. Them. You know, like, yeah. Oh, they're like yeah, Pokemon yeah, yeah. cards. Yeah, so they collect, collect them all. Them. And it's so, like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you have to like have the biggest um, pile. Biggest. Uh, so whoever has yeah, the biggest pile. pile. Yeah, the biggest pile. Yeah. That's my uh, English translator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Norwegian to English translator. But the whole trip is basically like just party for a month. Yeah, so, straight. so people like buy a bus. Usually, and then they party in the bus for an entire month, right? Just to celebrate uh, the last year before right. you graduate. And this is before you graduated. Yeah. So this is. So right what do you do for finals? Our exams. Yeah, we have our finals right now next okay. week. Okay. Okay. So that's like really bad timing, just because. <laughs> just because. Um, People don't really study that much. Right. They're really prepared for your finals. Right. So, are, really I, so do you think you're prepared at all? You're not? No. I, I have a final start in four days or something. I haven't even started. Okay. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. I um, enjoy. Hold on. How do you say it again? Uh, Grat. <laughs> Lura <laughs> Meha Dagen. Dagen. All right. Enjoy your day. Hopefully you guys pass. All right. Of yeah. Yeah. Thanks for taking your time out. Thank Bye. You. Bye. All right. Here's my card, by the way. I have yeah, card too. Yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, son? I got a stack. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Is this for YouTube? So yeah, I do this show called Walk with Sadek. Sadek is my name. Okay. I go to different cities around the world, and I this is oh, my so guest cool. today. Um, so I've done like. Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. I've done LA. I'm live in New York, and I do stand up comedy. So oh. look me up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your right. name again? Sadek. Sadek. I'm yeah. definitely gonna do it on the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Take care. Cool. Good meeting you. Congrats. Bye. <clears throat> I think a lot of these guys actually wanted to be on camera in the first place. Um, I noticed that the whole time. And that's why I was like, you know what, this is going to be kind of easy. I'll just go up. Because in America, or especially in New York, when I did my show there, um, one time, watch others, uh, horse manure. Um, there were people that were like, oh, I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to talk to you. I'm like, all right. But here it was easy. Yeah. So again. Nobody wants to come up to you and ask, like, oh, can you film me? Right, exactly. <laughs> so again, we're, we're in Oslo. We're. Uh, in the city center now, so now you can tell this is like corporatist because you got a Zara back there, Nespresso, there's a Zara. Just like America, guys, except they have healthcare and social services, they have a Zara here, they have hamburgers, they have everything here. Uh, this is not YouTube, no, but come here, come here. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Do you speak English? Yes. yes, yes, yes okay. No. Where are you? So you guys? Where are you from? I live in New York. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a YouTube what about? Channel? I have a YouTube channel. I have a Facebook channel. I have an Instagram Is channel. Is this going to YouTube? Uh, it's gonna go on the YouTube. Yeah. Here, grab a card. That's that's me when I was a kid in Pakistan. Oh. Turn this around. That's me as a kid. It's nice. So, what are your names? This is also you. I, that's I, also me. That's all me. Follow me on Instagram, Dari Sharafi. Okay, they're not gonna understand that because they're gonna. You gotta spell it. Oh, All right. Anyway, thanks for. What? Uh, how are you enjoying National Day? Good. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. You don't look so happy. Huh? You don't look so happy. No, it's uh, only drunk people and, uh, <laughs> and kids crying. So. Kids cry. Why aren't you crying? All of them. Because. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna do it when you get home. Yeah. All right. What is your name on Good. YouTube? It's right there. Look. Find me on Instagram first. Right there. 
Okay. okay. Good Is meeting you? you guys. That's me. Uh, why, why do you have the glasses? Why not? It looks cool. Okay. See you later, okay? Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, so let's say goodbye. Um, I'm actually posting, I'm actually doing YouTube this year. It's going to be the first year that we're going to post stuff on YouTube um, and Facebook both at the same time. So more, because I've realized a lot of people watch YouTube as well. Um, a lot of kids. A lot of obviously. kids, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's like you have to have yourself on every single medium nowadays. You know, you have to it's figure exhausting. out how to, yeah, it's exhausting. Very, very exhausting. So I just want to build content. You know, I want to have this conversation. Yeah. It's already hard. I mean, think about all the things I'm doing. I'm holding this camera. I have my phone, which actually has all my notes and everything on there. I'm trying to pull people aside. But Christina, you did a great job today. Thank you. It was uh, really fun. She's like my co-pilot for the day as well. My guests are always my co-pilot. You don't see her, but she's like kind of pushing me around to walk different dragging ways. She's dragging, dragging me. Yeah. So. Um, thank you very much for joining. Uh, again. Also, fill my outfit. Doesn't she look great? Look at that. What's your outfit called again? This is a Bunad. Bunad. Yeah. And give me your Instagram handle. Uh, at Christine with a K and then E-B-E-B-O-E -E -E underscore. And it'll be in the comments when uh, I post this. Again, this is Walk with Sadek, season two, episode one in Oslo, Norway, uh, the kingdom of Norway. Uh, for National Day. Thanks for joining. Grazie, Lady Medagen!